Hello guys and welcome back to Super Mario 64 with me Let's Play Super Mario 64 with me Oxfu. And as you'll as you'll see, we've got a big Goomba and a little Goomba. Let's go. Oh my god, we can't jump in that picture. Huh. Oh hey, it looks like there's two corridors off to the sides though. Let's see what they are. Okay, there's a picture. And there's a picture. Huh. They they don't look that different. Like they look pretty similar. Like, all these pictures are pretty much the same. Let's check this one. Okay, that's a real picture. Whoa, that's really close, though. That's a pretty small picture. I wonder about the other one. Oh my god. <laughs> Welcome to Tiny Huge Island. I love this place, too. Like, I, I really love all of the... I, I really love all of the third floor worlds. Like, they're just so imaginative. So, first things first, we gotta go pluck some piranha plants. Which means we wanna go up here. I think we can get up here with the shell. Yes, we can. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Thought we could. Huh, <laughs> what's that, little Koopa, trying to get your shell back? Don't think so. <laughs> Uh oh no 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 no! Blah! <laughs> I went in the wrong painting anyway. But as you can see, when we went through that painting, everything was tiny. When we go through this painting, guess what happens? We have the same stars. No, everything is. Well, no. When we went through the other painting, everything was huge because we were tiny. When we go through this painting, everything is tiny because we're huge. Oh, come on. There we go. Get out of here. Anyway, what we want to do is we want to use these pipes, and it changes our size. So what we need to do for this star, pluck the piranha flower, is fight these monstrous piranha pl blah, 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 piranha plants. And this is going to be an interesting star, because I'm horrible at fighting piranha plants. I think they give us a blue point at least. No, they just give us two points. That's that's cheap. <laughs> the Goombas give us a blue coin, but you can only give us two. Shh. Oh yeah, if I'm correct, yeah, don't jump down there, cause that guy will eat ya. <laughs> Same with um the other lake. Well, we're small enough that it's a lake now. It's just like a puddle when we were when we were big, but come on, come on! No, 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 no! We got you, we got you. Okay, don't fall off. Oh, one more, one more, one more, one more, one more guy. There we go. And I think that's all of them. Yep. That's actually the least trouble I've ever had with that star, because I'm horrible at it. I'm horrible. Horrible at fighting piranha plants. Uh, you know what? I'm feeling like I'm feeling like another another star is in order for this place. Ow! I keep forgetting how far away you are. <laughs> Tip top of the huge island. Um. Hmm. Oh, you know what? We have to. We do have to do this as tiny, so that's okay. And I think the easiest way to do this level is starting it tiny too. Like I said, that that Mr. J Cool Fish is gonna be in this pond as well. So just look out for him, cause he will eat you. Oh God, I'm gonna sneeze. Oh God, I'm not. <laughs> that was okay. All right, just jump. <laughs> so get a nice breezy lift from the elements. Um. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I could have used the pipe to turn myself big and just made this easier, but easy is lame. Easy is easy. So I'm gonna do it the hard way. Whoa! Careful there, guys. 
Don't don't tase me, bro. <laughs> I love these guys too. Oh, I'll, I'll you'll see what they do later when we actually have time to go up against them. But for now, we're at the tip top of the huge island. But nothing's here. It's just a crater filled with water. That's because the star is actually in this this box right here, but... <laughs> here we go. All right, another tiny huge island star completed. So let's go do something else. What are you? What are you? I'll show you guys. This is Wet Dry World. And this... This is the water world that I like. Because... Huh, it's just one room. It's not that big. You'll see why. But anyway, if you do a somersault or a backflip or anything into the painting, it'll, st it'll start out like this, with full water. Um, if you just jump in, it'll start, I think, at medium height or something. But anyway... We are not going to do shocking arrow lifts, because screw that. I want to show you guys why this is my favorite water level. Because if we go down here... What's this? An arrow? And a pipe? What could this be? A water level that doesn't just take one room? Crazy! <laughs> Plus, I love how it has the cave music and not, like, a regular water theme. That's the other thing. So it doesn't feel like a water level. But anyway, here we go. That's right. We have an entire underwater city to play with. Underwater town. And I just love this town because, like, there's nobody in it. But there are houses and everything. And you just gotta think to yourself, like, why? What what happened to everybody? Like, obviously they all drown because I mean, what else is gonna happen to you in a place like this? You're gonna drown. It's a place completely filled with water. What else do people expect is gonna happen? But it's just... it's so good. This place is just filled with mystery, and I love that about it. Anyway, we're gonna go over here. Because, as you'll see, we've got a gate... a great thing right here. And don't worry, we'll be, we'll be spending enough time in here. There's another... there's another star in here. It's a red coin star, so... But for right now... I think you actually have to hit a switch and that puts a block there, but for right now, we're gonna just get this star right here. And call it a day in Wet Dry World, because we've got one more world to show off before we go upstairs, so... I'm gonna show you guys that. Because, as you can see, there's a hall with mirrors. And you can see, like... Oh, there's bomb -om World, there's... Uh, Jolly Roger Bay, there's Tiny Big Island, there, Tiny Huge Island, there's Womp's Fortress. And look, it's just a hall of mirrors. It's like Luigi's Mansion with the, with the, with the boot, with the ghost that'll come up behind you and you'll have to fight him using the mirror. But there's a blank wall. But if we look through the mirror, we can see it's not blank. It's like that Toad said, if you, if you can't find the painting you're supposed to go into, Look through the mirror and try to find it that way. So anyway, Snowman's Land. Um... How much time do we have? We got enough. I like this place. I, I'm not sure if I like this more than the other snow level. Um... What's it called? Oh, I can't think of what it's called. But it's, it's fun. No, no, no. Shoot. Except for this. Because you will get swept right off your feet 
into the water. And if you stay in this water, it's so cold that it will kill you. Nope, nope. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Sorry, you're supposed to do a triple jump up there, but I was I was being quiet because I was trying to concentrate, because I'm really bad at that. But anyway, in order to... In order to do this level, as you heard, it's Snowman... It's called Snowman's Big Head. And look at how big of a head he's got. Hey! Who's there? What's climbing on me? Is it an ice ant? A snow flea? Whatever it is, it's bugging me! I think I'll blow it away! Anyway, look at how big of a head he has. And he's got a star on top of that head. Well, you know what? I want that star. So I'm gonna jump on this guy's head. Apparently you can hide behind the penguin and walk along, but like I've said before, I actually had the Prima Guide for this as a kid, and they told you to jump on top of the penguin's head. Like how you were supposed to find figure that out without the guide, I have no idea. Because it doesn't look like someone you can jump on top of. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> I think... What? Why? Where did, how did I get pushed? Anyway, I think we can still salvage this, so hold on tight. No? Come on. Stop touching the wall, Mario. <laughs> I know you have a thing for walls, but stop it! Okay, this is getting ridiculous. All I want you to do is do a simple wall kick. There we go. That didn't help at all, but... Whatever. Ah! <laughs> it's... I, I blame Super Mario Sunshine. That game has spoiled me. I'm, I am used to having such responsive controls. Shoot. There we go. Okay, okay, no no big deal. NBD. NBD. I've never heard anybody say that but my sister and her friends, but... NBD. <laughs> it's like, with, my, uh, with another one of my friends, uh, she'll say LMAO all the time in texts and aim instant messages and stuff. And I'll be like, what do you mean, light mayonnaise? <laughs> Get it? Because it's El Mayo, light mayo. <laughs> or light mouse a dong. <laughs> Get it? El Mao, left Mao, because he's a communist? <laughs> Okay, thank you, Mr. Penguin. Uh, what? Ah! The camera moved weird on me. I will not squander your gift this time. I always thought his head was weird, because he's got ledges on his head. And he's a snowman. I don't know. Maybe they're just... It looks like a piece is carved out of his head or something. Well, anyway. That's another one gone, so... I will see you guys next time on Let's Play Super Mario 64 with Mio Itsufu. Take it easy.